deploying on Starknet, it's not that obvious, you know, because when you like create an AMM on, let's say, Phantom or Polygon, both of the blockchains use EVM and Solidity. But when you deploy to a Starknet, it's much more challenging because they have their own uh, compiler and own programming language which called Kairos. So I would like to ask you guys, what are the biggest challenges that you faced while developing a Stark Swap on Starknet? And how is it different from like creating an AMM on other EVM chain? Um, I think the, the biggest challenge was obviously that it's a new system, it's unproven. Um, by the time we jumped on it, it was still actively developed. There was no developer tooling around it, no good ways of testing. So everything you sort of expect from an, from an ecosystem that is established isn't there. Um, a lot of the things that we did for our products, we were the first to try it, um, sort of deploying a L1, L2, uh, a product that, that, that talks between L1 and L2 um, hadn't been deployed. And a lot of the things that we needed for that were just not documented or hidden deep deep in the code or we needed to talk directly to Starkware to understand what how they intended it. So there was a massive barrier to actually getting code written and code out. Um, and I think the interesting thing is that the language model of Cairo um, with their immutable memory is also a different paradigm to programming. So it's, it's sometimes a little bit different to think about a Cairo program that you would think of a Solidity or similar um, language to, to write code in. I think if anything, that makes it uh, very exciting. It's like the early days of Ethereum. Nothing is uh, very well documented. I think uh, probably, I, I don't know specifically when you started developing this app, I know when we started doing the audit for you, but like the language changed there like two or three times. It's on the precipice of changing again. So I, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but from my point of view, if anything, that's like makes it very exciting. Like you feel like you're a pioneer or something. It is exciting, but it is also painful to rewrite your, <laughs> your software every, every couple of months. <laughs> it's exciting and painful at the same time. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I remember the early days like, of like every time EVM you open developers. up your project, you've got to. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, like, every time you open up your project to like, you know, a day pass, you're ready to get into the code again, and you've got to like upgrade all of your dependencies because there's been like version upgrades for everybody, and it's breaking changes across the board, and it's pretty insane. Oh but my but God. it's a lot of fun, too. That sounds horrible and fun. <laughs> that sums it up. 